I want to talk to you about this, our brain. Uh, it's something that we all have, uh, performing at different capacities, I'm sure, but still, we all have one, and it was given to us for free just for being born, and it's the powerhouse of our bodies. Without it, of course, we just drop dead because you can't function without it. So it's the most valuable thing that each of us possess. So it's pretty important that we protect it, right? And luckily we have these things called skulls to help us out. Uh, sometimes we challenge those skulls and do things that kind of hurt our brains, like this. And this. This one's the worst. Oh! I don't even know what he's thinking. Sometimes we just make stupid decisions with those brains and, you know, this guy. Luckily this guy's wearing a helmet, so. <laughs> but what are some other things that might hurt our brains? Obviously we've got alcohol, we've got drugs, and we've got, you know, big metal balls with spikes on the end of them, but I want to talk about a new drug. The thing is, pornography is not all that new. It's been around since the beginning. So why are we calling it a new drug? Well, that's because scientists are just now, over the last decade, beginning to understand what pornography really does, how it affects our brains, and how, and psychologists are understanding how it affects our behaviors, and sociologists, our society. And so we're just beginning to understand that it can be just as addictive as drugs, as hard drugs. And, and we'll explain how, because I know that there's some skeptical eyes out there kind of thinking, wait a second, drugs, really? I don't sniff it? I don't inhale it, I don't inject it. How is pornography like a drug? But first, you're probably wondering, dude, we're teenagers, why are you talking to us? Why are you talking to us about pornography? It's an uncomfortable topic, right? In fact, I bet you anything that as you guys came into this, as you kind of found out what this was going to be all about, you thought to yourself, oh boy, here we go. Shoot, you know, how do I get out of this? I mean, not a lot of people like to talk about it. But it's becoming more and more of an issue, and we got to deal with it. And here's why we're talking to you guys. The largest group of internet porn users is youth, ages 12 to 17. You guys. 90% of the people watching this video right now fit into that group. Do you know what the average age of exposure is for pornography? 11 years old. 11! And 9 out of 10 youth, ages 8 to 16, have seen it. So we know what it is. We know what it is. We're not here to define it. Get this. Every second, now, 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 30,000 people are viewing online pornography. And what was the largest group of internet porn users? 12 to 17. So you see how a lot of those are there. And girls, watching this right now, listen up. A lot of you tune out for topics like this. You can think, okay, it's a guy's issue. It's not my issue. Recent statistics show that 30% of addicts are women. That number has skyrocketed over the last decade and it's growing. So current research is showing that pornography is a drug and that it can lead to addiction. But some of you are looking now, they're going like, well how? It doesn't make any sense. How? Again, I don't sniff it, I don't smoke it. Well how? Let me show you. Pornography goes in through the eyes, in through the iris, and triggers a release of chemicals in your brain. Chemicals like dopamine, serotonin, epinephrine, oxytocin. Now this is a science class, but you may, you, know, you may have heard of some of those. Now these are natural chemicals that your body produces. These chemicals are needed. When you do drugs, hard drugs, or look at pornographic material, your brain is overloaded with these chemicals. After you keep looking at porn, your brain gets used to those high amounts and builds up a tolerance. Those same images that once gave you a rush don't have the same effect anymore. In order to get that same rush, it not only takes more of it, but it also takes a more hardcore version of it. Your brain becomes dependent on that rush of chemicals and literally rewires itself to think that that's normal. And so you cannot function without it. That is addiction. The same process happens with cocaine and heroin. They can't stop. 